Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q3 of the weekly contest for two maximum total damage with spell casting. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. Um, this one is a little bit funky, but I think one way that there are a couple of ways you can do it. To be honest, I see that a lot of people did it quickly, and I actually also, uh, let's see, I guess I did it in about uh, seven minutes uh, with the first submit. Um, but then got it wrong, so I don't know. But uh, but yeah, so definitely a tricky problem. Um, the way that I would think about this one is that it's um, it's a variation of the house robber problem, maybe. Um, but with the caveat that power can go really high, so it's not just adjacent houses. You have space and gaps between them. And that's really the way that I thought about it. But yeah, I think I... I I'm going to show you the way that I did it with dynamic programming, but I think now that I'm thinking about it, um, yeah, maybe I could have done it another way, but yeah, but the key observation is no noticing that these things, right, um, is symmetric in a, in a lazy, in a good lazy way, which means that um, you only have to care about the negative side if you only go from uh, smaller to larger number because in in going from the negative side um, or in the smaller side uh, it take, takes care of itself right for example if you have if you look at just like one and four and six or, or uh, yeah seven right then here the four doesn't have to care about the seven because we know that the seven will take care of the four in the future. So that that's why we don't have to take care of it. The way I did it is kind of funky. So I don't I don't know. I did it with dynamic programming. Um, I keep track of the counter, and that's just to um, that's just to you know keep track of how many of each one. I also have a sorted thing of the keys. And here I do a dynamic programming, which is for i of n. Let's let's skip. Let's ignore this part for now. But I initialize it with zero, meaning that you, you um, eh, may, maybe that's fine. But that, but then here it looks at the last four results, right? Um, and then here it takes the max out of the last four results. Uh, oh, sorry, three results: one, two, and three. Why do I have one, two, and three? It's because of the pigeonhole principle, right? Because basically the idea here is that let's say we have some random set of uh, sorted numbers like 1, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, something like this, 15, right? Um, here you can see that for 11, um, if we only want to skip uh, power minus 1 and power minus 2, then here by the third number, we always have a number that we can connect to, right? If you look at it from a... From a, from a dynamic programming graph theory thing, then eight and 11, then one of these numbers will always connect. And that's why I, I go from one, two, and three, and then just connect that way. So that's basically the idea. And then here we get the max out of these three numbers. And then at the end, we connect it with the current, um, casting the current number to have dp sub i. Okay, so there's only one more weird thing about this problem that I, I definitely missed during the contest. I mean, well, I just, I thought about it and then I just kind of forgot about it, which is the, um, you, you need it to be a prefix sum or, or like a prefix max. And what I mean by that is that, uh, well, I got a wrong answer to it. So, uh, so I did actually just to kind of, uh, go over my thing real quick. I, I, I don't know, I, I did it off by one by accident, so that's how I got one wrong answer. I did one and two, because I forgot that is exclusive, um, so I didn't do the three, so then in some cases it just didn't count enough, right? And then for this one, um, hmm, I, I thought it would tell you the wrong answer, but I forget what the uh, case is, but the idea here is that, um, let's say you have something like this, right? Uh, actually, yeah, it could be just this case, but let's say there's 10 sevens, right? So here, what I what this code does is that the eleven will only update up to the eight, but but the eight might not contain the all the solutions. I mean, eight here would only um, if you don't do anything will only contain the best solution containing eight, right? What we want is the best solution containing eight and everything before that. So. And yeah, 
and yeah, and that's basically the idea behind this thing is that, um, yeah, this allows us to, um, this allows us to basically do a prefix max of everything before that. And that's pretty much it, really. Um, hmm. I'm saying hmm because I think this is a little bit funky. I think the way that we can actually write this is, okay, so this is the best containing it, but we can also take the best not containing it. So it should be just like this. Maybe that's a little bit clearer, uh, assuming that it is greater than zero, of course, right? But I think the, my, the idea that I had with what I had before is that it doesn't go over three, you know. Uh, yeah, okay, so that makes sense. Yeah, the idea that I had before is that, um, yeah, it's the same idea that I have here is that you want to update it only three app before, but I don't think it matters, so, um, so I was wrong there. I think this makes it okay. It's just that now, so db sub i at this point, db sub i now contains the best, um, the best score or whatever, best power, uh, best damage, including, uh, using, uh, key sub i, right? Whatever we sorted that, that index. And then now this allows us to do a prefix max of n n now dp sub i contains the best damage you, um, using key sub i or not key sub i, right? Because it's everything before that. So that's basically the idea here. And yeah, uh, and much cleaner. So yeah, this is going to be O of n, right? You could say n times 3 because of this for loop. And yeah. Oh, uh, sorry, I, I missed the sorting. So n log n on this part uh, plus O of n time and space. So this is going to be n log n time, O of n space, and yeah, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. You can watch me solve it live with the silly mystics now. Okay. Hmm. Uh, okay. It's green, right? Wait. Oh, you could power the same thing multiple times, huh? Hmm. That's a little bit more weird. The dogs are very annoying.
Dogs are very distracting. Hmm. Oh no, this is wrong, just zero and one. Right. Do the plus one thing, it doesn't do anything. No, let's not do the plus one thing. Am I confident? Not really. Hmm. How did I, how does the, hmm. I don't think I could be off by that much though. That's why I'm a little bit weird. Okay, so yeah. The 
This is definitely wrong because 20 is not right. Oh, I yeah. poop. Pigeonhole. I have to do that one. Yeah, okay. Come on, Larry. Basic. I am just not doing it well today. Huh. Expect a nine. So the one, you have four ones. One, two. One, three. One, four, which is four, da, da, da. one, five. Oh, this should be prefix of all this. I thought I had this, but okay, fine. Hmm, I'm just really sloppy, honestly. It means that we want to. Was this five and two, but we want this to be yeah okay I, I am sloppy 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 Larry and people we got Thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about these problems, my explanations, the contest, everything in between. Uh, stay good, stay healthy, do your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.